Welcome to episode two of the budget GU patrol build. Been busy scouring eBay, Gumtree, Facebook Marketplace. And on Facebook Marketplace, I come across a set of BF Goodriches, uh, all terrains 285, 75, 16, uh, KO2s. About 80% tread on a set of uh, Series 2 GU steel wheels for the measly sum of $570. Uh, so I bought them, and then on Gumtree, come across just a single uh, KO all-terrain with plenty of tread left for a spare, uh, 50 bucks. So total sum, 620 for a set of five wheels. Pretty happy with that. Uh, and then, on Facebook as well, just on a group, a driver's seat with the side trim intact. There's a bit of wear here, but it'll pass it roadworthy. Uh, we'll give it a pressure wash, clean it up. Comparing it to what was in the car when I got it, uh, she's totally rubbed through and the trim piece is broken. So 50 bucks for that. Uh, Pretty good deal, I think. Let's get them on. What do you reckon? I, I leave the, the Series 2 Steelies on there, or... I actually get the 33s put onto the original steel wheels and I'll paint them up and make them look a bit nice, but just that there, that's a huge difference. What a difference a set of tyres and wheels makes. Just been washing the driver's seat that I picked up. You now winter's coming. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. So after watching back episode one's horrible audio, I've uh, bit the bullet and we're now filming on a GoPro. Uh, I'm not too sure what the difference of the footage is gonna be like, but hopefully audio is heaps better. Uh, last thing we stopped off with was washing the seat. Uh, I stored it in the car overnight came out heaps better than what it was. We'll replace that driver's seat, go from there. It's a bit of a difference when you're uh, replacing that with that. Uh, the rails on this seat aren't as good as the rails of the original seat so i'm going to unbolt it if you move the seat up and down you might hear it or oh, you'll definitely hear it the actual rail itself is moving up and down within its slide so we'll pull it out we'll swap the rails off of this which doesn't have the play which will fix our issue.
what actually got recorded and what didn't. But to remove this whole assembly under the pivot belt, 7mm, under the fill head screw, under the 12mm, which is tucked in there, that holds this firing. You need to remove the wire which controls the uh, retractor. Well, it's uh, now now night time. We've clearly run out of daylight. Seats are in. Much better than what there was before. The rock's now gone. On to the next thing. Thanks for watching. Welcome to episode two of the budget GU patrol build. Been uh, squall.